Hey folks, it's Will from the Polish Miner. So, I got my 1600 watt gold power supply in from from the Amazon deal I just recently got. So what I gotta do here is I gotta undo this one, here the 1300 watt, and um, it started swapping things out. So, if you hang tight, we'll just kinda do that real quick. Not a big deal here. I gotta pull every one of these out of here. Not a big deal. So, I was watching uh, the live stream from the Coast of Crypto and the Cadena Mining Club earlier. And uh, that was really neat. So, what I've got here, so, I thought this last thing was selling, right? Is this Aurorus? Or Aurorus? And, uh, and I learned that I didn't know this. I that call it the card. There were, it's got three pins in it. A six pin and two eight pins. KDA eight just six. to run this bad. It is, it's insane. Immersion mining. But I'm gonna slap this on here. Real quick. Run away with that. The okay. Last slot. Okay. I'm gonna unplug that. Oh. So I can get around my I own thought to myself. Table management here. What the hell? Oh my gosh. That's that's totally awesome and totally neat. It has been right? an age or two since it's been in here. So and now I, I want to try and see if I can't so find so out a little bit more about that one here real quick. Um, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. I have the little anti-static bag. I think that would be pretty awesome. If I could find out about it. So I'm not going to try and cheat these. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to take one of these 36 TIs off of here. I want to see if it has the same amount of slots. And I'm going to push on a 37 So this is the 1600 watt. So, okay. And that rip these right out right now. Go. Anyway, like I'll be right back GPU shortly, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the other end how to hook this up. Okay, and that one has, looks like six GPU slots. Big difference. So I definitely will be able to accommodate uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here. Just give me a second, and I'll get this hooked up, and I'll show you what's going on. It's really easy to hook up, so this is not like anything, you know, it's going to go batshit crazy. Well, guys and gals, I've got the first two GPUs hooked up. I'm just hooking in the rest of the GPUs real quick to get this done. And I'm putting them on in here in order. One, two, three. And then I've got four right here because they have plenty of slots for this. There's four. Okay, and then I reach down here. There's number five. And then of course, these being the way they are, six and seven, I gotta move them under here somehow. Oh my gosh, cable management is always fun, but with this, it's always a little extra work. And then put it under here, let me see here. If I can get my light in here, I can see where I'm getting at. It's always a little trick getting these in here sometimes. Well, let's see if we get any life going on here with these GPUs. Because now is the real test. We're going to get some juice here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I got this one the right way. Oh, I didn't. So, I got some little rubber deals that I got to put on here. And we got power. So, let's see what we have here. This last one did not kick on with any lights. There it goes. We got power. As you can see, for all of them. Cross. We have windows running. And, wow. We might actually get somewhere. We'll test it on the remote side here in a minute, and I'll be talking with you shortly. 600 watt power supply from EVGA, all hooked up. Shortly we'll be mining. Well, folks, as you can see, we're doing our little thing here. And testing this thing has been running for uh, almost 40 minutes now. Um, I'm getting good temperatures. Um, I have the window open with a little box fan blowing through real fast. Uh, my 3060 Ti, as you can see, 26 through about 28 and a half. 
I don't understand every time I put one in the first or any, actually the second slot, the way that these are set up, and it's an MSI card, you know, it's trash. Um, it's always slower than the rest. ASUS cards, they're doing fairly well. EVGA, obviously, is rocking. The Gigabyte right there, the 370 Ti's, because this last one right here is the one that I add on. It's the Aurora's, or I call it the Anus, because, well, it's a big pain in my anus. But you actually probably built fucking houses on these things. Excuse my French. Um, it's huge. It, it's super thick. Uh, you can, This is the greatest paperweight. If it ever dies, I'll ever need it. Um, but you can see the basic overclocks here for the 3070. I'll jump up here with the for Windows here. The basic overclocks there for the 360 Ti's. They're all the same for Kapow. Um, I'm going to jump down here. And for the 3070 Ti's, they're kind of low. But those are the overclocks for them. I could crank this up some more, I would imagine. Um, but the way things are set up right now, I'm happy and content with this uh, the way it is. So I'm going to leave it be. But for the most part, uh, this is mining Chlor AI. And I've been doing that now for mm, a little over a week now. And uh, I'm getting some good results and some good hashes. So I can't complain. Ultimately, the upgrade, I think, was a success uh, from the 1300 EVGA power supply to the 1600 as well as being able to put the 3070 Ti by gigabyte back on there and I am obviously running it at 1045 watts at 170 kilo hash per watt so that's not horrible yes I'm losing money at this current point in time but I'm doing spec mining and I kind of expect that so with that said I want to thank you guys for stopping by miners friends and community members and remember like subscribe and comment below I know these upgrade videos are not the most exciting videos, but for newbies that don't know or don't understand things, it's always great to have them out there. So, I'll be seeing you soon.